So today, we'll look at Malanete, and I'm going to use a chair in the beginning as a practice, a training tool for uh, creating both large steps, accuracy in how much I'm pivoting, and the size of my step, and for uh, creating a, a frame for me to gauge my balance. Right? So I'm going to challenge myself to go around in four steps, which is not what we do in the dance, but again, using the chair as a training. So the pattern obviously is side, forward, pivot, side, pivot, back. So I go around in four steps, and there's no weight changes in the movement. You go from left foot to right foot to left foot 100% of weight on left foot to right foot 100% of weight on the right foot to left foot. Now we're going to break this down, and this is for me with a chair transforming your dance, where Malinete transforms your dance. It creates the next level of freedom. So, in the beginning, I just look at side steps. I use the chair as a, as a gauge to give me perfectly linear side steps. So step number one. What I'm looking for is I'm looking to find any hitch, any falling, any not powerful or clear weight change. I'm looking for elegant, graceful movement. I'm arriving 100% on each foot at the end. And what I'm wanting to feel, as always, and we'll talk a lot more about this later, is the sense of home. I take a step. I really feel myself arrive 100% on that one foot. Now, with the chair again, I'm going to add the forward step. So I'm just using these two steps. I'm going to go in an L and back around this chair. I take a side step, and then the forward step. Arrive. Back step, arrive. Side step, arrive. 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 Arrive, and so on. Now you notice that through these movements, I haven't really been focused on the chair. So if I was dancing with someone, say if I'm following, it would the person would be staying right in front of me. So now I'm going to challenge myself to focus my embrace on the chair. I love the way Robin Thomas framed it. He says, make your partner the center of your embrace. And particularly in close embrace, I really like this idea. So I'm focusing my embrace on the chair, making the chair the center of my embrace. So if I'm holding a big ball, I get this round shape to my embrace, and then I focus it on the chair. I do a side step. I arrive in the side step. My hips are ready to face, are ready for the next step. They're facing the direction that the forward step is going to be in. And yet, my upper body is faced, is focused on the chair. I take a forward step. And when I arrive, if I don't take the pivot, my hips are still facing this side of the room. And yet, my embrace is fighting to stay focused on my partner, on the chair. And then I take a perfectly linear back step, and then a side step. Side, forward, side, <laughs> back side, there you go. Side, forward, back, side. 
Now, obviously, the hard part of this movement is here. So you gotta stand 100% on one foot without turning my hips and somehow facing my partner. There's a lot of flexibility, but this is what this is more realistic, particularly once we get into overturn movements. But you'll see as we as we work on ochos, this is actually going to be the setup for really powerful effortless ochos. So again, I start at one corner, it can be the other side. If I do the other side, it comes side, forward, back, side, side, forward, back, side, and so on. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to do the back step, the side step into a back pivot and back step, and then one other video blog on the Molinete. Thank you.